Club sides play football for money or in view of laurels and trophies as rewards for victories. That was, however, not the case when a face pride football club took on the feeder team of Bayelsa Queens of Yenagua in a match organized to condemn gender-based violence in the state. Of Yateme George reports. Their handshake formalities did not translate to friendship on the Sandy Panchia football field when the feeder team of Bielsa Queens of Yenagoa took on Face Pride Football Club. At the end of the first half, the Queens were two goals up, leaving their opponents gasping for breath. Organizers of the match are calling for the domestication of a certain bill to deal with gender-based violence in the state. The violence against persons prohibition act is very, very apt at this time for it to be domesticated in Bielsa State. So we have not just come to watch a game of football, they are using this platform also to educate everybody that has come on their legal rights. Domesticating violence against persons prohibition bill would help reduce the incidence of violence. Why? Because it looks at compensation one for the survivor of violence and also, you know, um, punishment for the offenders in different um, offenses from cultural, sociocultural norms and beliefs and also even in physical violence. It was a bad day at the office for Face Pride Football Club and they had to retrieve the ball from their net four times in the second half. 6 nil it ended, but budding talents may have been discovered in both teams. I've heard of rape, violence, assaults. It's not, it's not good. That's why I, we came out to play football, to tell the world that it's bad, that they should stop it. We are using this as an opportunity to get our female youth to come together and begin to annex their talent. Because we have a lot of raw talents in the, in the communities, in the rural areas, everywhere. But if these opportunities are not there, we cannot bring them out. Of George, TVC News, Yenagoa, Bayelsa State.